Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody all around the world, and thank you for joining us today for another Left 4 Dead 2 competitive shoutcast. My name is MK. I'll be your caster and cameraman for today, and I am not running by myself. I am here with Nina. How you doing, my friend? I am doing great. It is an honor to be here to be able to cast this match with some Left 4 Dead 2 legends in the server. Yes, there is some OGs in this server, and we're going to be going over them shortly. Looks like right now the last player has joined the server. Looks like the fake lags are going to come out, so he equalized the pings. But we are here for the King and Furnace Cup. End of week one, we are going to have a team a bot playing against Zeddy Pen. And this is going to be a matchup, let me tell you now. I'm excited for this. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. It's going to be a tough one for Zeta Pen. For obvious reasons, but we'll see if they can't start off strong here. It's going to be tough. Uh, and yeah, just a quick note for those of you not in the loop, Kings and Furnace Cup round, group stage round one has been extended to Sunday. So that's why matches are still happening, just to get that out of the way now. Yeah, that is true. Right now they are look like they're discussing... Uh... Um, well, I mean, they did. Yeah, yeah, they already did use fake lag. It looks pretty... Let's check it real quick. We have the ping command, and it looks like it is... almost even. I'd say it's slightly in favor for the survivors right now if I look at the total there. Actually, I'll put it in chat. Let's uh, let chat look at it. Here you guys go, if anybody's interested in pingas. <laughs> and we are going live now. Here we go. Opening attack coming in. Jockey Hunter... Or Jockey Smoker, Charger, Boomer, they're all coming off the rooftop. Boomer gets popped. Jockey's kind of rolling around near the water. Smoker gets killed off. Charger getting punches. That's the first attack dealt with there, Nal. And why don't we de hesitate? Let's do a roster rundown. For Team Bot, we'll have... That is right, you're seeing it. Purple, Bravo, Dash, a.k.a. Trump, and David. Why don't you take away Zeddy Pen, Nal? We got Sweet Moon, Rigvi, Sefe, and Mowgli. All right, we have a little bit of an audio issue here. Let me fix this. I was doing some editing and I had my volume all goofed up. But here's the first <laughs> tank of the game for Z Pen into the hand of Mowgli. I don't even. What was that? Mowgli? Mowgli. Mowgli? Hey, that's how I'm going to say oh, it. No. Oh, no. He already lost the toy now. He already lost Mowgli, it. Mowgli, Mowgli, Mowgli. The rock, though, it's really high. Not going to be able. Or just easily going to be able to see that. Not anywhere near Rochelle. And uh, what a first hit, too. Bot just sending it straight forward. Zeta Pin was not ready for that. They do get some Charger Smacks and the Assorted Hits in to bring them down a bit, but I like the execution by the Survivors, or at least the, the theory there. I, I, I haven't seen a tank play Rock from on top of the scaffolding yeah. in quite some time. He decides to dismount and goes down to the top of the big rig, throws a rock when his boomer proxies onto one survivor. The commons are a little delayed coming in. They're jumping out the windows. I don't think they're going to matter at all when he throws this tank in here. Nah, no, waiting for that last spawn. But he, actually, they're going in now. And they sack the charger and the uh, jockey, which is questionable. Now they're going to have a retro attack to help the tank when he commits. Interesting. So he's just going to be playing the rock game here. Uh, I don't know if this is something he normally just wants to do, or if it's because of the car situation, trying to get some rocks out onto the survivors. Uh, the SIs have done a decent job of getting some damage in, about 4% here with the tank so far. But he's going to be sending it in soon. Boomer gets popped, he's 80% he's second pass, Hunter is spawned in but not engaging, still got the smoke. And we got 10 seconds left for Rigby to get in, but he's going to have to send it here to avoid going AI. Should work out. Lots of chip already. 4,000 as they go for the reloads. Hunter, not quite. Nice little one-shot ski by Dash. And the tank is down to 2,000 before he gets his first smack. Not quite. David able to avoid that first one. He only gets one smack MK and a little bit of SI damage, and that is going to be it. Yeah, that was cleanly taken by the survivors. Unfortunately, the tank missed his punch. The hunter didn't get the pounce, and he died, which allowed more survivors to focus down the tank, not really worry about the threat of a smoker and a jockey. And they pretty much took that almost no damage, except, like you said, the smack and some common chip. I mean, some SI chip. And right now, they're at 87%. And this is huge for a map that's 500 distance on the opening attack here and all. This is massive. 
They do go for the souvenir shop hit. Charge will be easily sidestepped, and that is going to leave just a little standing spit. They've still got to hunt Boom. Going to try to drop that Boom in there. Doesn't find anything, and Hunter's going to disengage. They get very cleanly through the souvenir shop and head out the back. Yeah, Hunter looks like he chose not to go in. His team's calling for a hit hit, but they're all dead, so they ain't going to be able to do anything right now. <laughs> but the jockey's the first one up in the rotation. Here comes the smoker. They got a try cap right now, waiting for the last. Reloading. It's going to be a quad attempt. Can they rebound from the tank that didn't work out very well? Here they go. They go quickly. The charger lands. Oh, it's a rolling try cap that comes in, but the jockey was late to the party. Ooh, that was pretty close, and off. The jockey was on the same page. That might have landed. That was a little bit too close for comfort here for bot. It would have been so much damage loss. Or, I mean, bonus loss. 900 points of bonus would have been gone. But alas, it did not. It would be cleared up very quickly by bot. They're not going to have to deal with the alarm car. And they walk into the building. Potential stairwell hit, but they're gunning it through. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. They do have the Charger Smoker to kind of alley-oop this attack. It looks like they want to try to do that. So the Charger comes in. Gets deleted as he jumps through the door. They'll get a little bit of free spit damage. I think the smoker got a scratch. They'll kill the boomer off. Spitters get a hold. We'll say they want to try to get some spit damage with what could be their last hit of the chapter now. Yeah, you're not going to be able to throw up that raw charger when he's got to jump up on top of the railing first against a team like Bot. They're too quick for it. Gets instantly annihilated. And uh, we are going to have the spawns coming back up. The Jockey, Hunter, Spitter, as well as a Charger. So high damage potential here. Could finish out strong for Zeta Pin. I'm curious if they save this hit for outside the safe room, which they very well could do. But it looks like they want to send it here, MK. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not going to work out. They're just going to have to relocate. Yeah. Now they're actually in danger of having this rushed on them because the infected are not in position. But it looks like the survivor is going to be smart. They're going to slow this down a bit. They're going to try to catch this hunter out there. Lose a lot of his HP for being a little greedy. You know, the hunter is silent, but if you give his location away, they'll hunt you down. And that's why it's called the hunter. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, <laughs> the hunter does go for a despawn, and they're going to get the last hit before they go into the safe room. And this, they need to do some great damage here. No, I think they need to land the tri-cap. The, the hunter's given, given away its location now. Looks like Rochelle's a little aggressive to try to go after it. They think they're just going to run in. Here comes the Charger. The Charger misses. The Hunter finds the target. Pounce bit. Jockey lands. Charger got a fist as well. I mean, they got about 12% from that hit and all. It's not terrible. But unfortunately, the tank didn't get a lot. And that's a huge bonus for one map. And that is 12.56 after one chapter. That is a sick beginning for bot. Zetapin did have that one hit with the quad where it looked a little bit scary for bot but on the whole they had him caught out especially that last hit with the hunter caught out finally goes back into ghost form only has a 160 hp gets caught out again and the charger connecting with that little parking pole and uh they're gonna be happy that they at least found some with that final hit but 1256 chapter one of pacifist not the scoreline you want to be looking down no, but they, and the only thing that I would say is in their favor, they, they have an early tank to deal with. Only one car is now could be brought in, so it's going to be big on the infected and what they can do as far as bringing that car into play. As we saw the other infected side and all, knock it into the water, and that really puts you at a disadvantage when you're trying to commit without any threat of a hittable anywhere. Right. Now, as for the SI spawns here, we've got the smoker behind the tree Everyone up forward. Trying to prevent Zeta Pen from doing a strategy similar to what they did at, for the first hit, where they just completely rushed it down, left all sir, SIs stranded up top on top of the historic uh, Rayford building. And we'll see how this plays out for Bot, but I like the setup so far. Yeah, the survivors have called for a wait, even though they're all moving around, which is a little questionable to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if they're away. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to go live. Let's get in that opening hit you, you called is a tri-cap with a boomer. Of course, there will be no hunter in this. All separation. They rocket the charger off. The Ooh. boomer comes over. <laughs> Not much. I mean, they do get some damage. One boom follows. And the smoke pulling the from the charger. I think the okay, okay. Good, right? I, I think. I, I was too focused on that unfortunate smoker hey, charger interaction. <laughs> uh, to catch that, but we'll see. 
Zeta Pin is just hauling it through. They bring in the tank. Tank gonna be in the hands of Bravo. Yeah, the survivors were actually Ooh. able to get out of there before they hit. Hunter jock into two cap. The clears are still pretty respectable. They'll go in with 90, 93.8. Oh, they look like they want to be a little aggressive here. They're going to try to push Bravo back. The Boomer. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting, right, though. They're being it. aggressive here now. What do you think of this? I love it. I love it. The aggression out of Zeta Pin. They are not scared of the bots even a little bit. An illustrious team. Finally, they are going to take it back, but I actually love that aggression. Well-timed back as the rest of the SIs were coming up, though. And I don't know if I like the... Okay, okay, they are just going to get ammo. Bring it back. Cool. Ooh, look at this, Null. This is a good car. He's going to be able to pop that over and put it into play. Looks like he's happy with what he's got. The... Oh, it doesn't land in a good position. I don't know if he can use that. Uh, I think he might be able to question is he going to make a play for it and he is okay they, they take him down to under 5,000 before he gets to the car oh his Hannibal's in the water too they try to get him an early pounce but he gets his own punch oh the hunter also gets skeeted the charger's climbing the ladder the tank's getting punches the smoker lands now the charger lands almost gets a double doesn't get a pound Bravo throws a rock he's gonna get another punch on the coach does he get the in cap and I think it's gonna be a one in cap tank and that is going to be it, and that's going to be a pretty standard, I would say, Nal. An in-cap coming out, nothing special. Unfortunately, his car bouncing off the stairs and into the water. I didn't catch the flu. Great moment for Zeta Pin. Yes, they did get the in-cap, but you'll notice Bravo got the hit on the white van, one of the SI or one of the survivors, and they were isolated. I think he wanted one of the SIs to go and finish the job there, but it didn't happen as they were all focused on the other side. So, they are able to recover Zeta Pin is, but they've got a big choke point coming up. Yeah, Hunter decides to leave. Doesn't want to get chipped through the wall. I wonder if this will be a distraction, bring the Hunter from the back window. Jockey's giving away its location. Unfortunately, they don't have any other cappers. It's only going to be the Boomer and the Spitter. Boomer's going to come out from the outside of the window. Hunter was going to come from the back now. Hunter's getting shot down. They're going to pre-spit in. There's a lot of survivors, and they all have to back through the spit. I mean, they take a little bit of damage from it, but none of the cappers actually land or die. Even the boomer's still alive. The boomer does land, though. Here they're going to go again. The common infected still have not made their way. They finally made their way in the out in the, to the hallway. Oh, the jockey lands forward. The hunter gets skeeted in the middle. A little bit more free spit damage goes out. Another boomer from the back window that still is not killed yet. And now Purple's walking his boomer in. Spitter might sack for a quad attempt. I don't know. Boomer's getting m 2 M2 again, another proxy onto a survivor. Spit goes through the window or the hole in the ground, and the survivors push forward, and they're gonna hold on to the spit. No quad attempt coming up now. Respectable amount of bonus left. They do just save for the 3-1. Five Reloading. seconds left on purple. Gonna be able to go for the alleyway hit. High potential for damage in this enclosed space, as well as the uh, plenty of uh, angles to drop down from or attack from. Jockey is in the front, goes for the back line. Charger in there, spit as well, with Smoker being a bit of a nuisance too. And that bonus is going to continue to dip down, already down to 359. Yeah, that was a huge hit coming out from Bot. The strafe jump with the Charger around was beautiful. They get the charge bit. Now the survivors are going to be permanently slow. But now it's going to be a crawl for distance points. With the way that they're going now, I believe they could make it. But it's going to be hard to hold on to that bonus. Especially... Oh, actually, they're going to go right away. They're separated, too. There's a two-cap. Can they get the two in the back? Their Hunter can't find the target. Eventually does. The jockey can't cover it. Another rolling two cap comes in. And oh my wow. goodness, there goes the bonus now. Probably down to about 160 with the pickup. Right, we talked about how difficult it was going to be hold, to hold on to the bonus. And of course the reason the DB is pretty much all they've got and a hit like that is just going to absolutely tear through it. The rolling double, no, the jockey wasn't able to cover, but he got to drag. Uh, into a side room with the hunter still ripping away. Great hit out of bot. Look at the aggression out of bot here. They want to send it again straight away. Boom. Smoker pull down. Reset. Oh my. Spit. Will not find anything. But we've got Rochelle down with the reset. Got to drop down to help her out. 
What a play out of bot. I love this aggression on the SI side. Yeah, it was definitely a great play from them taking advantage of what was given to them, but I have no idea why Rochelle chose to jump on top of the hedge to get herself pulled down, because this yeah. is a disaster starting to unfold for the team, all because Rochelle jumped on top of the hedge. They got spawns coming up. They got a survivor separated. They get the charge. Oh, what is Ski coming out by the Uzi, but he can't clear off the jockey. But wow, what a Ski coming out. Ellis needs to sh chase down. He, oh, he can't do it. This is probably going to end up being a wipe because he's delaying so far. Oh, get the jockey, get him. And the ah. jockey figures it out. <laughs> oh, man. And when they get the clear. What? He gets clear. Now he's standing still. Ellis. 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 Okay. <laughs> and he goes down. 124 spit damage on standing survivors in that chapter. Get out of here. Oh man, I cannot believe that all unfolded now because Rochelle chose to jump on top of the hedge for whatever reason. I have no idea. Situational awareness. Sometimes the pressure gets to you in those spots and she thinks hedge looks like a great spot. Nope. Last place you want to be there. Gets herself reset. And Bot will not be in the lead by a thousand, but they're pretty close to it. We're only one chapter into this. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, for those that are joining, yes, this is an equalized ping game. So it is um, added ping on to mainly uh, Team Bot. I believe they're the only one that added. I don't think the other side did once. And now the pings are equaling again. So there we go. But yes, that's how much uh, fake ping has been put on here. I'd say, what do you think? About like 70 to 90 on each each survivor, I would say, not yeah. close to it. Yeah, I mean, this we're here in a Virginia server with the North American team. They had to get some pretty hefty ping uh, additions to them to, to even that up. But the beauty of ping equalization here, love to see it. And um, even footing as far as pings. But we can see a little bit of a skill difference unfolding. That being said, Zeta Pin still got three chapters plus... To get back into this we'll see what they can do oh my look at that tank spawn now 26 oh. this this game is throwing us early tanks making survivors crawl if they don't take it very well but so each team's gonna have to ace the tank fights and so far i would say team bot did great shutting down the tank even i would say the other side zeta pen did a good job too not only taking one in cap just the si unfortunately and a few misplays put him in the predicament they're in but here's the opening attack hunter charger smoker boomer which is the exact same minus the hunter was not in the lineup the charger misses the smoker is successful the hunter gets skeeted even though the survivor was boomed on rochelle bravo getting the shutdown well boomed on and what a boomer but the, I'll tell you what, no, the three boom is there, but they're, actually, never mind, look at their bone is melting away, it almost double the damage from all these common slaps coming out. I was going to say, they were at 97.6 down to 95.3, all from just common slaps. Right, the clears on the cappers were immaculate, uh, but dealing with the CIs after with the booms on the head, getting a little bit too excited there. They do make it into the billiards room, though, and uh, just going to be clearing out comments here for a bit. Jockey, Hunter, Charger, Spitter, waiting them on the other side. So, got to be careful on the exit. Yeah, They are just going to chill it out for now. And as far as the fake lag, um, I do believe that the fake lag is a little different than what it was before, sir. I, I believe now you just have a vote, which automatically equalizes everything instead of doing it individually. I'm not sure if that's what it was before, but I've, I have seen that recently. But... Demo as far here. as this match, I would definitely say Team Bot is definitely about 70 to 90 fake ping on each one. They're going to send this attack very early. Actually, the Jockey lands. The Charger Ooh. actually lands. And they're going to get the Charge Spit in probably the one of the most unorthodox ways I would ever imagine. But it was a good hit and all. It was good. Bot looked caught off guard by that one, uh, which has not been the case so far. But good to see Zeta able to catch him off there. And it's going to lead right into the tank. They're going to be very happy that they got in that damage. Because once that tank goes into the billiards room, it all breaks loose. So they do get one boom onto Rochelle. Rock's going to be coming out. Survivor's standing on the windowsills. Able to clear out the commons quite effectively. As well as eating the rocks. And we'll see this continue for a while. 
Yeah, he looks like he's just keeping range. The boomer's about to wear off. He does have a smoker. They probably want to kill the smoker. I don't see a situation where they want this on the commit. I mean, you can, but maybe you might want to charge her to help push the survivors around a little bit when you commit, but... I don't, okay, there he goes. They're going to sack it now, and I guess they were listening to me now. They're going to throw this, this smoker in there and get that charger and probably throw this tank in right away. And it's Rigby, by the way, who has tanks for his team. And this is the big tank nonetheless. No, this has to do some big damage. That's one of the things that I've liked about Zeta Pin. Their sack orders have been very good. But Rigby is going to be sending it in. He's got... 5,000 HP, SMG is continuing to rip away, 4,500, he is now in, the spawns are in as well from the beer room, Jockey immediately cleared Hunter, but he just kills it off, Charger was a laser down as well, just going to be getting a couple smacks in, doesn't even drop him below 80% post tank though, and once again, Zeta Pin, despite the good sack orders that we praise them for, the execution lacking a bit. Yeah, I think the, I think it was only one punch that counted. One was God Frame because nobody has 48 points, so one of those right. didn't count. Don't hey, kill your hunter. Throw a rock while standing over him and be proud of your trophy. Don't knock right. it away. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, Smoker goes in yeah. purple. Oh, he gets purple. Ooh. The pull down. The jockey is not able to capitalize. So it was a good pull down. Jockey is unsuccessful. Spit block goes out. Spitter gets killed. I didn't see the death order as Purple decides to go the bottom route, probably because he never had the opportunity to do it before, because it's been that long since he's played. <laughs> but I'll tell you now, it is pretty awesome. I didn't think I'd get the opportunity to cast a Purple game in my casting career. It was pretty awesome to do so. Shout out to Zeta Pin for showing up on time so that we can. Bot <laughs> uh, makes it through that uh, crucial choke point. It can be awful if one of the survivors get segmented back there gonna head it straight into the jazz club we got the quad jockey in first and it's looking a little bit discombobulated hunter is nowhere to be found jockey is dead smoker has spawned in they are cautious for it for a bit but now they're just gonna gun it down charge collat hunter comes in for some extras boom one shot skeet quick little uh quick smoke on the back but will get cleaned up still got 70 percent for the survivors as they bring it down to the drop down into the sewers yeah they got it below 25 percent finally they still do have halfway the map as we were just discussing but I mean, they have some good choke points coming up i do believe that if you're rooting for zeta pen they need to be able to knock down this bonus quite a bit i would say at least under 25 percent if they want to start mounting a comeback being down a couple hundred points um, after one chapter is not where you want to find yourself in uh, pacify snom 900 points down one map is up to fight back definitely definitely and i like to see this out of bot earlier we saw that okay they send in the hit jockey from the side charger trying to get in there is just going to get lasered down ellis standing his ground on that one and will finish off the charge before it even can connect with him and they're going to get a free drop down just got the hunter here hunter maybe could go for some kind of isolation on the staircase if bot since it a little bit messy but even then yeah they are just going to drop it down for free hunter connects very briefly onto rochelle but that's it yeah now that's only one spawn is down now they only have three it looks like the boomer wants to possibly spawn here jockey looking smoker staying in the back and it looks like they're just going to hold everything and hit when they transition on the other side as there's no option to really do anything at this moment now and they're getting yeah, the map ran on them kind of going in one exactly of the time. exactly chargers dealt with smoker tongue gets cleared we have the jockey hopping around free range on him purple's hunting him down can't quite find him but now we just got this wide open space for bot they're gonna be at the very least able to get a ton of free extra distance through here as they approach the tunnel and I'm interested to see if Zeta Pin, I mean, I think they need to go for after the tunnel hit. If they try to go before the tunnel, uh, Bot is way too fast right now. They've got three sets of pills, plenty of health. Okay, so they do just set up for after the tunnel. Yeah, they have no choice. I mean, they have the spawns for it. This is the hit you want to maximize your damage output. Now it's all out if they can hit it at the same time, capitalize. Everything's coming from the front. No, they're not going to bring no hunter, no jockey from the rear. Oh man, oh, this is it. 68.5%. Let's see what they can do. Take it away. 
All right, Charger. Nick has already gotten out, though. Uh, he's going to overlap with the jockey, the charge. Will it, they at least find some spit there? Ooh, a whole lot of spit that they're swimming in. Death spit as well, backing it up. And, you know, good hit for Zeta Pin, but 800 bonus. Jockey does connect, not able to carry up the stairs. But we're looking at another close to 1,500 point chapter for Bond. Yeah, that actually hit there, Nal. Did 18%. They desperately need it, Ooh. but they need more. Charger can't yeah. find anything. I think they walk in. Charger misses the rocket. Oh, he lands. Oh, they get oh. the smoker through the door. They might be able to slap him once or twice. Oh, there's another pull. And they'll get it under 50%, but they'll walk in with 748 or 744. And that is a two-chapter score of 2,700 even. Pretty devastating survivor sides out of bot. Um, I I like the execution there out of the tunnel, but something we were talking about before the tunnel hit was how Zeta Pin was just kind of scrambling and hitting, sending in cappers one at a time, not really an effective use of their SI spawns. And despite the decent tunnel hit, they just didn't have the lead up to that to be able to lock it down. So unfortunate, we'll see how much they can find on the survivor side, but they're gonna be trying to just tie this chapter at best. Yeah, I would agree. It's all gonna come down to their tank play. I mean, they did take the first chapter pretty well. Let's see what they do when they're put in a circumstance where you're in a room and you can't really run away from it, kind of like in the first map. We'll see what they could do. I like the boomer spawn on top of the AC vent, but unfortunately Let's that spawn is come and gone. Boomer's now going to come from behind. It's got to be Bravo. Yes, it is Bravo as the Boomer. Here comes everything off the top. The Boomer comes in. He gets a triple. Hey! There's a pull forward. And that's going to be a good amount of damage coming out. And Bravo, with the with the unorthodox strat, just bring the Boomer from the safe room, getting a triple. And what do I know now? What do I know? I love it. He has faith in his teammates to find the caps, and then he just follows up the alley-oop on the Boom. Finds three of them. That being said, Zeta Pin will not be taking pretty much any CI damage from that boom. It's just going to be the raw hit. So it's still going to be a massive 11% hit, but they are able to stim the bleeding a bit. They are gunning it through. Look at the isolation. Okay, they do regroup inside the Red Flight Barn Cafe. Still got... Okay, they spawn it in. Look at the hit, though. Charge into the spit. One. Jockey's ready to go as well. Ooh, this is going to be nasty. Pulls him through. Not quite, but look at the standing spit as well. Brings him down another 10% plus, and Rochelle is trapped in here. What is Rochelle doing? Rochelle is out. She is so out. Yeah, look Rochelle, at her. Yeah, Rochelle is dead. This is going to be a wipe because obviously their teammate is not taking this very seriously. I, well, I think she just got caught out with the tank there, and she was like, okay, I'll either... I, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's definitely unorthodox play, but I don't know what you even do in that situation to recover if you're Rochelle there. Uh, I guess you just try to regroup, but they are just going to be able to take it back into the billiards room. But with the double boom, purple, brings them back down, gets some smacks in the corner. Coach going to be going down. Oh, the smoke pulled down as well, MK. Oh, the hunter steals. Actually, the hunter <laughs> stole the tank's target, but the tank killed it. <laughs> so the tank yeah. takes over what the hunter took. For some reason, the hunter chose that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably trolled it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like this is going to be cleaned up pretty easily as Purple gets the punch. Oh, a nice punch on the jump up there. Another punch. One more will be the in cap. And now there's one survivor left up. Purple has a bunch of HP. The survivor pops his pills, but unfortunately there's other SI that intervene, and that will be a wipe going out as Purple's tank crawls through the pipe, and that'll be a two-chapter score of 489. Not looking good. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we hype up the team sometimes. Like, at least they're not getting steamrolled. But let's be real. This is a bit of a steamroll here so far. 2,200 points in favor of bot. Making it look easy. The return of some of these well-known North American players. And they are starting off Kings and Furnace Cup group stage round one with a bang. Nice to see. Actually, no, I'm not going to lie. I joined in the game and... 
I took a drink from my drink, and you know how for a brief moment when you come back in the game, you could be an SI for a split second yeah. before it spectates you? I legit tried to move and get ready to get my spawn and forgot what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I got into the gamer mode for a second. <laughs> oh man, but I'll tell you what we're not going to see on this chapter is we're not going to see an early tank because this tank is static and it will be at the same spot every time. Yeah. Uh, got some interesting play centered around the tank, but also there's some room for uh, some unorthodox hits as well. Because survivors are typically expecting um, the meta play, which of course is trying to interrupt the opening on the train door where the tank is sitting for the first start of the tank. Um, and because the survivors are expecting that, you can throw them off guard with some well-placed hits. We'll see if that comes out at all, or if the team just want to go for the meta. If they do want to go for the meta, can't blame them too much, because it is quite effective. Uh, but... Definitely have some room to surprise us. Yeah, it looks like right now the other team is a little questionable if they're going to make a comeback to finish this. I don't know if he crashed or or what happened with the, the events that unfolded last chapter, but hey, I can mm, use a hand. right now we're going to have to wait a little bit for the fourth person from Z-Pen to return, nice. unless they're just going to call it GG, but unfortunately, you know, in this in this tournament, since it adds up the total of your points, if you call GG, you get minus points for it. I so they that. would get that. negative points if they ended it right. Here yeah, I mean, they literally. would actually be in the negative. Yeah, because I believe that you get minus uh, 300 for each person, and it goes to the other team because they don't get to play. I don't know if that's 100% true or not. I I think if you abandon the match early, it is minus 700, and unsportsmanlike conduct is minus 300. I need to get those rules ironed out, though, a bit. Yeah, I did see some teams were penalized with some unsportsmanlike conducts, but, but fortunately none of them actually affected the outcome of the match right. from what I've seen. Um, so just keep in mind that the admins are paying attention. Don't keep it unprofessional with... Poor sportsmanship. Don't go GG easy. If you go GG yep. easy, that's just minus 300. And then I believe after that, it's even more. But we're going live now. We're back into it. Let's see what they can do with this tri cap with the spitter. I like the setup they have. No hunter. Let's see what they can do. They're going to send a real quick charger rockets in. That was actually a beautiful setup there coming out by the infected team. No, that is a great hit from Z Pen. I hope we can see a lot more of that in the rest of the map. Zeta Pin has been able to make it happen here and there, and uh, I don't think the score necessarily reflects their play because, especially on the SI side, they've had some nice hits, uh, but, you know, the tanks have, especially that second tank, was absolutely dismantling to them. The survivor side in general has been tough for Zeta Pin, but we've got the survivor side of bot. They're going to send out another one. 2-2, two, two, charge, not quite. Nice attempt. I like it. Uh, Hunter is going to be dealt with as well, but they do sack into the quad. And now the question is, now are they going to send the quad before they get to the tank, or before they spawn tank? And remember, if they cho do choose to send the quad and they don't land it, they're going to have nothing to protect the tank when they spawn it. That's the only downside when you're, you're going to try to quad before this event. Not saying that it's a guarantee to get a lot of chip on the tank, because the tank can easily <laughs> screw you over if you get a little yes. over-aggressive. But we'll see what happens, what they want to do with this quad. Not looks like they're going to just send the jockey in, because the jockey is the tank, so no quad attempt. And I like this better, in my opinion. Yeah, except the jockey's not the tank, okay? You got 10 seconds left on oh, you're Seppi. Right. The tank is Sweet Moon, which was the hunter, and they are just going to be able to open it up. Not quite. Smoker's still up there. And he misses. They open the door. You know what, Nah? I think right here, I would just commit my tank right now. It would have been an interesting Look play for commons. sure. Look at the commons, Nah. They'd be backing up with all yeah. the commons behind them. Right. That's just me. Maybe maybe, maybe it's not the right call, but casting chair, we get the good sight, so right. we can yes. try. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, and I think that speaks perfectly. What just happened speaks perfectly to what you're saying about survivors not able to always able to capitalize on opening the door early because they got 500. Yes, that's good, but often we see 500 from the ladder climb up as well. Uh, so it, they didn't get a ton in, but they did get 500. Hunter gets dealt with. Rock will get speeded. Brief smoke, no jock. Survivors still sitting at 89%. pills too no pills exhausted right like david's the only one who's down below actually david's only three punches the other survivors will all be four i don't know if the tank can, i don't know if the tank can take notice to that and try to exploit that on his commit while well, he's trying desperately to hold on to this pass even sacrificing a couple hundred hp the charger rockets thing gets killed the boomer's gonna spawn behind not get anything hunter wasn't quite ready the attack's a little questionable nothing coming out now it's just going to cost more rage and more HP off the tank. Yeah, I'll be frank, I don't like it. I think it was going for a rock, but uh, the SI is not sending in a, uh, their hits in a way that would actually facilitate any kind of rock. Sweet Moon didn't even go for it. Now he's second pass. Has lost a lot of HP at this point. He's got the car drop down, which is going to take even more chip for his troubles if he even goes for it. Gotta go soon. Oh, wait a minute. He baited. Huh. He baited a couple HP to go back and get the car, so he just threw away about 400 there and all, and here he goes. He gets a good car hit to start us off, but with it landing over to the right, survivors take it all over to the left. Smoker Jockey Hunter. Hunter is from behind the boat. Will land with the same target. Goes for the 1 2 with the rock punch. Well done. Not gonna be God framing that. Jockey tries to intercept, not going to happen. Getting another smack onto purple, that's going to be it. 735 bonus left. They did do a good job of blocking some damage, bringing purple down quite a bit. He's got to pop his pills. But still, Zetapin providing a lot less than they need in this situation. Yeah, they still have 735 bonus, and this is only 500 distance, so that's quite a bit. I like the Charger spawn, but I don't like him going in there because it's almost impossible for his friends to help him whatsoever, so the Charger just sacks himself. Spinner's going to run around on top of the building, might get picked by one of the survivors because he's not really paying attention. The Boomer lands on two. The Spinner is just following them on the rooftop, not choosing yeah. to do much. And now the Boomer sacked itself, and now... We're going to have to wait 14 seconds for a whole hit, and they only got about two left, and the survivors have a full set of pills again. I would have much rather seen the spit go for the sack as well and then go for the quad. Uh, they're in such a dire situation here. They need the quad. Of course, could go for the reset here with the hole in the railing, which Smoker is not quite going to set up for. The reconnect. So they do have all four SIs, three plus one with Spit. No Charger, obviously. Spit separating 2-2. Two, two. Hunter gets skeeted. Oh. They do get the two. And the Jockey carries behind, but it will get cleared by that Smoker target as the Smoker gets cleared up. So a beautiful hit by Zetapin, uh, but too little too late as they are threatening another 1,100 point lock-in. Over 1,000 on all three chapters so far. Beautiful showing by bot. Come on, come on. Yeah, look at that. That'll be 3,788. Zeta pin at the end there, Nal. Kind of great attack, I would say. The separation. Yeah. The spit to make the survivors run through it and take the damage. Double digit damage coming out at the end. But I think it might be too little too late as they have a really tall uh, hill to climb. I mean, I don't even know if we can do the math. I mean, I think the math won't add up right now if they even do this yeah. in the next chapter. I mean, you're looking at let's see 1600 on a perfect map here and the next chapter is 700 distance so you're looking at 2100 there i mean the math is there but that is not even allowing bot to go with their survivor yet so <laughs> that is almost <laughs> acing the chapters and with one of their teammates not very happy and running ahead the last chapter i'm questioning to see what we're gonna see here yeah uh again like you said, that last hit, Zetapin has been able to find some good SI hits here and there, but the consistency lacking, the survivor side lacking. Speaking of survivor sides, they started off, got the spitter, jockey, charger, smoker. 
Classic smoker setup. Behind the tree, through the railing. Charger drops down overhead. Goes for a long charge. Not going to find it. Smoke does get the pull. It's taking a long time to clear that smoke. Will finally get cleared up. 6% hit. And smoker, I think, got quite a bit of damage for that attack, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah. And it was also pulled through a fence, so the damage is less than it would be if you got someone next to you. So right. Either way, that took a long time to clear, like you said. They look like they're going to have the spawns up, but not in time to try for a death charge. The boomer keeps the proxy. But the Charger couldn't get in position to make anything yeah. happen. But they're going to go anyways, and they're going to get oh. a double cap. The Charger splits the... And this survivor is going for a ride. Mm. And is hanging on top of the car. Let's get you up on your feet. If that Charge hit, that would have been such a nasty hit out of bot. But look at the bonus oh, continuing to evaporate out of the hands of Zeta Pin. 85% left after two hits. And with the pressure out of bot, the unbridled SI aggression and pressure... I think we're going to see another hit here come out pretty soon. Reloading. It's going to be a smoker hunter. Yeah, I think it's retro. But they got to go now, no. <laughs> they do send it. Okay. I mean, they got nothing to really guard the tank here but a spitter. Oh, they're going to send it. Oh, there it goes. That's going to delay enough. Now they can protect that tank. Definitely. Though. Okay. What is Phil doing? Reloading. Reloading. His sweet moon calls a go! Phil ran into the closet and shot the ceiling. I don't understand why he did that, but... <laughs> he did so, and... It's about sending a message. Yeah, right? Wow! Oh. Okay! He's in! Take it away, MK! Yeah, he'd waste no time. David is in, getting stumbles with everything. He did get a punch, got another stumble. He hit everything so far that he could punch, including the survivors. He's got an end cap already. He's got a three cap coming in to help him. The smoker lands. The hunter gets cleared. The rock lands. The jockey's fighting one-on-one -on -one with the survivor. He can't get him. Oh, he catches the tank's punch guy. And now Bill's hunting down the smoker. What did we just witness? I bet you couldn't do that again if you wanted to. Punch the guy right. in the jock. Rock coming out. Free rock. Takes it. Pickup happens, and David's gonna decommit with about 1,300 left. Now. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do it in style here. David popping boobers even on the infected side. Right. And he's actually just gonna chill, go for a couple rocks. Okay, survivors send it through. This could be danger zone for them. Look at Bill and the charge. With the hunter catching. And this has just been a bizarre tank round so far. Survivors not sure if they want to press forward or not. The go being called by Sweet Moon. Look, look at the car setup. No way. I want to see it. Do it, David. Pop it up there. Should have popped it up now. Blocked their path. Oh, he's being very patient. Oh, oh, my oh, set oh my car. <laughs> hey, he's All able right. to pass now though, no, he gets past it. But he still has a car he could bring in. I don't think I've ever seen a car be punched around in this area. He's trying to do it, but he's gotta be careful about going AI as well. Charge! Oh my gosh, it's so close. He's gonna try again. Ten percent. Oh my gosh, Let no. him go! It's so close! <laughs> oh, they might be able to kill him before he gets it. Oh, it gets stuck! Oh, it gets oh, stuck again! Unlucky. And he's dead. Oh, it goes AI. <laughs> Reloading! Oh, Pin surviving the tank this time around, but only 159 bonus left. I don't think I've ever seen a tank punch a car in that area before. No, I think that might have been a first for me. I liked it out of Zeta Pin. They said, F it, we go. And uh, it kind of worked out, I guess. I mean, they were in very dire straits right at the beginning of the tank. So the fact that they managed to do a rabbit in the hat kind of trick here and keep going. They recognize the quad available for bot as well. 
Smoke does manage to pull through with the reset MK, and despite their best efforts, <laughs> the pull down does happen. And look at that size waiting for the comeback. Hunter finds it. Jockey will not. Look at the charge as well, though. One. Not quite two, but still great damage. The smoker recommit as well. Choking out Zoe. They'll finally clear that up. Not dead, though. That smoker is not dead. still alive. He's going for a cheeky scratch. Oh, interrupt the pickup as well. Oh my gosh, the delay. Oh, the jockey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's swimming in the spit. And they lost all the bonus. They had about a buck 80 there. But nobody watched the smoker pull, nah. Nobody. Yeah. The, even after the smoker, the jockey just gets a free ride through the spit. Where were the teammates? And here we come to a very familiar spot. <laughs> We've been well acquainted with this. Okay, now the survivor is smart. Oh, he almost got him, though. There's another smoker. No, are we going to see it again? Oh, he gets in-cap. <laughs> he got in-cap. That's the only reason it did happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man. Cheeky little spit. Ah, they're swimming in it. And it looks like the only reason they have points is because Sweet Moon. Thanks. No way. Are we going to see it again? Oh, no way, no. no. They're just they going to leave it to him. I think they're going to leave yeah, him now. They're over it. Lewis is dead anyways. Send it. I'm reloading. Look at Zoe. In the meantime, they hit on the front lines. Francis is dead. Bill's getting ripped through. And that is going to be the end of the line here for Zeta Pin. Still getting a respectable 466 distance, but unfortunately that chapter got out of control real quick. They lost all 175 bonus and don't even get the full distance out of it. No, they don't. That is unfortunately for them. But regardless, we're going to go into the final chapter of this tournament match. It is going to be the victor. We already know who it is. It's going to be Bach getting the win. But there's still more points to be had now. With the way this one is, you want to gather them up. Nom, 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 nom. Eat those points. <laughs> right. Look at that. 3788 to 955. Jeez. And let's see. Well, this one's, I think, 700 distance, right? I mean, double, oh, no. They lowered it to 600 distance. It's no longer okay. 700. Okay. So it's a little less. So I don't think we're going to see the 5,000 dream come true unless they walk in with, like, 700 bonus. That's going to be difficult on this map. Maybe Zeta Pin wants to go for the finale. I mean, if, maybe they, if you maybe need points, you might finale. as well, you know? <laughs> there ain't no reason not to not to play it. I mean, if there is finale being played, I still think it's mathematically impossible. But Hunter's going to go in really quickly. Jumps back and forth a few times. Still haven't found the target yet. It looks like he has changed his mind about going in altogether and is going to run away. And one thing that we see happen in these stomps sometimes is the stomping team lets their foot up, off the gas a little bit. I don't want to see Bot do this. I want to see them continue to make a serious statement here round one of the Kings and Furnace Cup. Hunter, Smoker, Charger, Boom for Zeta Pin. They are wide out in the open here. Likely going to take it to the choke point as they go into the window. Spawns are getting above. There's only one survivor or one infected I can't see at the moment, but they were going to go in. They missed the transition on the inside completely. That's not going to mount up to anything, though. 1% after two hits. Bot is on fire right now. 61% tank. I do like this tank. going to be hittables everywhere. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of them going all over the place. And it looks like they're going to be able to... Oh, Spitter? Oh, never mind. Maybe okay. trying to get a delay spit, but not much. Jump Boomer stumbling the jock. A nice little skeet on the Hunter. Everything gets cleared out. They take less than an, an additional percent. 
They walk it up to this tank here shortly. Reloading. They're about to come up on a choke point and they have no spawns to throw at it. This is a great. Well, actually, the tank's going to save them. Actually, no, it's not. The survivors have shown no desire to retreat. They have chose oh. to. Actually, they changed their mind now. Chargers land on somebody's head. I love it. The smoker misses. The spitter is kind of spits off the wall. The boomer gets killed by the oh. by the car. Oh my gosh! Hey! Purple is no longer purple. It's now red. Oh, survivor <laughs> gets you. What? Okay, he ain't gonna move anymore. He's just gonna stand there because when, uh, uh, don't move. Eat your rock and take it like a man. He does. I love it. He's just gonna keep shooting. He pops his pills. There's nothing this tank could do. Oh, he drops down. Eats the. No, he doesn't get the rock, but now he's calm and locked. There is a pull forward. He gets a punch. He gets another punch. Another punch goes out. He finally gets the in cap. There's still three survivors up. He's running for a car. Oh, he hit the jockey. He missed the other survivor, though. Oh, the jockey hits the car. Decides to do a spin on the top, and that is a dead tank now. Wow, okay. That was an interesting tank. I don't know if that forward setup was the most effective. They tried to... I'm thinking, you know, if they take it back... I don't know. I think, obviously, they just want to take it back around the boat. They're typically, but still, some nice dodges on the cars until uh, Purple takes one to the face. I love the pillar play there. That was ridiculous. We got another hit in. Charge spit is going to land. Zeta Pin continues trying to send some hits in. Sometimes we see teams not even go for a hit there and just save everything for the gravel pile. I like to see this instead coming out of Zeta. They lock in some damage. And uh, they are going to have plenty of time to set up for the gravel pile as well. We'll see what those spawns are. Ten seconds left on Rigby, though. Maybe I got a little ahead of myself. Jockey Smoke. And there's a charge. Got to be careful. Charge. Oh, they will go. Oh, my God. Where did Purple New go? down, he says. Wow. The Kalat charge leading to the untimely death of Purple. Yeah, Purple is no longer a thing. He has been deceased. The Charger gets a double. There is no double death charge, but we see one. And that's something. That's not the place I thought we would see it. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Yeah, right. As Zoe decides to take the scenic route around the outside, so you don't have to Love be slow. Love it. A little risky if the infected are up, though. Jockey looks like he wants to try to grab the last person, but Zoe is waiting for his teammate. Did they go quad here? No, maybe. I think I, I didn't see what that last spawn was. Yeah, it, it is. is. We've got them all in a line atop SS Relentless. Trying to mag them out that hunter long range. Smoker initiates. We're into the charge. No, it connects with the pull. Jockey. And he's got the hang. They will just be able to pick that up. Hunter just hanging out, having a good time, I suppose. I don't know what the hell the hunter is even doing. He's just pouncing around. I, I think he's trying to get a ceiling pounce, but yeah, doesn't look like he's quite knows how to do it very well. It's just a despawn and hit with his team, in my opinion. I am messed up. He's still out there, now. <laughs> I don't even know what he's doing. There he is. He finally despawns. <laughs> Very awkward situation there for Panay. Oh, he's caught up in the tree. Already down to almost nothing. And there's a team ski eventually coming out. Charge. Wrapping around. Will be popped at the same time as the boom. Spit comes out onto nothing. And bot, despite losing purple, will still somehow make it into the safe room. With almost a hundred bonus, the 5k dream is dead, but the win very much still alive. Yes, that should be about 4,400. Just about 4,425 to be exact. Good showing coming out from Team Bot. They'll get the W with one more side of this tournament match to go before it's over. Zeta Pin. Their survivor sides have really been dragging them down despite a couple glimmering SI plays that showed some spark of hope.
their SI or their survivor sides have really been a letdown. We'll see if they can recover here at chapter four, but they're going to be hard pressed to do so because the momentum out of bot has just been. I mean, especially their aggressive SI plays. I expected them to see them ramping it up, just sending all these hits because Zeta Pin just hasn't been able to deal with them. <laughs> they're putting up, they're putting a purple out there because he died. <laughs> yeah, he's like, where are the clears? <laughs> Just blame it on your team. It's as easy as that. Oh. Wow. They actually shut down that hunter pretty well, no? They did. But again, look at how quick they sent that in. No time for waiting. Send them where they are. Zeta Pin does bop it up. But look at the damage coming out. Hello? A lot of common slaps at the end and some friendly fire. Oh no, this is it. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's just a little short. Wow. I'm not gonna get it. Oh, the hunter. Ryan the hunter. <laughs> oh, Bill almost just walked off by his own volition. I seen that. Pulling to prove. <laughs> that was so close to a death charge now. That was nasty, and you really do not see it. Of course, most people know that Death Charge exists, uh, but you really do not see teams typically go for it, but by almost making it work. Boom little, through the window. A little unorthodox boomer, what do you think of that now? Yeah, yeah, it, it's just greeting them. The double cap, though, jockey carrying all the way around with the commons wrapping around him as well. Beautiful hit. That's what I'm talking about with bot. They just get the hits back up and just send them. It seems like every single time they get their hit together, they're at a decent to great choke point. And they're just ready to send them again. Just knocking down Zeta Pin. Already down 40%. And they are drowning here in Chapter 4. Yes, and look at like spawns again. Now they're going to send look it quickly. The hunter <laughs> gets melted, though. They actually did a good job shutting that down. That was a good hit. Yeah. The boomer does land, though, causing a little delay. And I think that's what we're going to see more than anything. Of probably all this damage is going to be boomer slaps because nobody on their team is really helping clear the boomer horde. As Francis is just giving Bill pills and not killing. Okay, now he's helping. <laughs> it was just kind of watching Bill struggle. And now they finally get through now, but the spawns are already back up. <laughs> we got Mowgli all the way in a different area code, getting 1v1 by the Charger, and making it a 2v1, make it a 3v1. Jockey finally lands in the head, and down goes Mowgli. Gonna get grinded out real quick. Rest of his team running up to meet him. And this is looking like an untimely demise. Or maybe a timely one. Yeah, Dash does have the final tank for his team. The, the survivors have chosen to go. He is going to commit the, the Charger. Just M1s off the roof. This stumbles. Oh, Ooh. he gets the double. There goes one down. He has two more left. He's going around the big rig. He cuts off one of the survivors, gets a punch. There he goes, another one. Two more will get the end cap. Does he go for the car? Yes, he does. He hits him with the car. The Charger <laughs> misses. And now the tank is going to chase the last survivor until they finish it off here. No, it's almost over. Zeta Pin loves these 1VX scenarios. Gonna be leaving it down to Sweet Moon this time. Sweet Moon, does he climb all the way up? Ah, there's a hunter catch. Come on, give him a little bit more time there. Bravo says GG, I think. Uh, we could, okay, they do, they do call it GG. Don't wanna play out that finale. And that is going to be what we expected, uh, but what a decisive, we expected a victory, but a decisive one at that thousands and thousands of points in the hands of bot by the time that one's done yeah bot will win 4435 to 1235 oh